The Norwegian railway network consists of 2,552 kilometers (1,586 miles) of electrified railway lines, constituting 62% of the Norwegian National Rail Administration's 4,114 kilometers (2,556 miles) of line. The first three mainline systems to be electrified were private or hauling lines. The Tumshoun line opened in 1909, and remained in revenue use until 1973, after which it was converted to a heritage railway. It is the world's oldest remaining alternating current railway and the only narrow gauge railway in the country to have been electrified. It was followed by Norsk Transport's R. Jukin and Tinezet lines two years later, and Sidvarangers Kirkenes Bjornevatten line in 1922. The Norwegian State Railways NSB first electrification was parts of the Drammen line in 1922 and the ore hauling Ofoten line in 1923, which connects to the iron ore line in Sweden. The use of L1 locomotives on the Drammen line proved a large cost saver over steam locomotives, and NSB started electrifying other lines around Oslo. From 1927 to 1930, the remainder of the Drammen line, and the continuation along the Randsfjorden and Sorlande lines to Kongsvinger were converted, along with the first section of the trunk line. In 1935, the Hardanger line became the first section of new NSB track to be electrified. From 1936 to 1940, NSB electrified the Ostfold line as well as more of the Sorland line and the Bratsberg line, connecting all electric lines west of Oslo. During the 1940s, NSB electrified the Sorland line, although the final section from Egerson to Stavanger was not converted until 1956. In 1957, the Kirkenes Bjornevatten line became the only line to remove the electrification and replace the electric locomotives with diesel power. The 1950s saw the electrification of several regional and commuter lines around Oslo, including the Kongsvinger line, the Trunk line and the Dover line from Lillestrøm to Hamar, the Vestfold line and the Eastern Ostfold line. This was largely due to NSB's program to remove all steam locomotives, either by electrification or by dieselization. In the late 1950s and 1960s, several to be electrified lines were operated with diesel locomotives as an interim solution. The 1960s saw the remaining two steam lines in southern Norway, the Bergen and Dover lines, electrified along with the Jovic line. The Bergen line was completed in 1964 and the Dover line completed in 1970. This finished all the planned electrifications, and the authorities deemed the remaining lines unprofitable to electrify because of low traffic. During the 1990s, a new program was attempted, this time to electrify the entire network, but only the Arendel line was converted before the program was cancelled. However, new lines around Oslo, including the Liarasen and Oslo tunnels on the Drammen line, and the Gardermann and Asker lines were electrified at the time they opened. Further plans have been launched, in particular the section of the Nordland line from Trondheim to Steinkjer, which is part of the Trondelag commuter rail, and the Mariker line, which connects to the electrified central line in Sweden. In 2008, electric traction accounted for 90% of the passenger kilometres, 93% of the ton kilometres, and 74% of the energy consumption of all trains running in Norway, with the rest being accounted for by diesel traction. Technology for electric railways was demonstrated in Germany in 1879. The first revenue line took electric traction into use in 1881. The first electric industrial railway in Norway opened in 1892 at Skotfosbruck near Skine. Two years later, parts of the Oslo tramway were electrified. The first alternating current AC line became operational in 1892, while the first line to use a single phase, single overhead wire power supply opened in Germany in 1903. In 1912, all German railway agreed to use the 15 kV 16.7 Hz AC standard, which was later adopted first by Sweden and then by NSB. Several of the private lines that preceded NBS's electrification chose different standards. Sidvaranger chose to install the only mainline direct current DC and third rail system. Topic: <timeline>, Timeline. 
The following list contains a chronology of when the various sections of mainline railway lines were electrified. The list excludes industrial and short branch lines, as well as systems installed at ports and yards. The list contains the date when the electrification was taken into regular use on each section. It also notes if a section was opened as an electric railway, and if the line was prepared as an electric line, but where this was not taken into use immediately. The list contains the line and section to be electrified, and its length. The length indicates the length of the mainline section at the time of electrification. Due to changes of routes and shortening of lines, the current length of sections may be shorter. The sixth column shows the electrification system, including voltage and frequency in case of AC and no frequency in case of DC. Topic. Notes and references equals 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 notes <laughs>